Chutel, bonjour. bonjour. Est-ce que vous sentez la pression monter un peu à deux jours du match là dans quel, dans quel état d'esprit vous êtes So, hello Chutel. Do you feel any pressure um, coming on to, on to the next game on Thursday? How do you feel at the moment? I feel excited. Um, I think it's a game that any football player wants to play. It's uh, an exciting game and I think if you say you're not nervous, I think you're lying. But uh, it's good nerves. I think you need to be a bit nervous coming into a game like this. But for me it's just all about having a good game and doing what we've been doing. So I'm, I'm more excited. Donc euh, c'est, je suis excité. Tout joueur de football veut jouer des matchs comme ça. Si euh, si j'étais pas nerveux, ce serait un mensonge. Mais c'est du de la bonne nervosité, donc c'est positif. Euh, on est on est excité. En fait. Est-ce que au club, euh, le coach, les supporters vous ont parlé de l'importance de ce match et notamment par rapport à la dernière demi-finale en, en 2009 qui a été perdue et du traumatisme entre guillemets que ça a pu représenter. Um, here at the club, the coach or the fans, did they speak about uh, the importance of the game and uh, also about the game in 2009 where, where we lost and how it was uh, traumatic for all of us, basically? Yeah, I think now that I've been here for a little while, I've got a feeling of how much the, the Coupe de France means to both the club and also the supporters. Um, so I think it's the, the same in a lot of countries, like the cup means means a lot to especially the fans but also to the club. So I think for us it's it's another game and another competition that we would really like to go as far as possible and I think now this year we have a we have a good chance so um, I'm, I'm excited for the game. Donc euh, je suis là depuis un moment maintenant, je comprends l'importance de la coupe euh, aux, aux, aux yeux des fans du club. Euh, nous, en tout cas, on va aller au plus, plus loin possible et on est juste prêt pour le, pour le match. Bonjour Chetel. Bonjour. Alors, comment, depuis ton arrivée au, au TFC, pour ta première saison, tu ne joues que les matchs de coupe Comment tu gardes bah, le rythme, la concentration, tes réflexes, juste avec les entraînements Est-ce que c'est suffisant So, since you arrived, you, you only play cup games. Uh, his question is, how do you keep the rhythm um, are you, how, how do you feel? Can you, can you keep the rhythm, basically? Yeah, I think uh, it's a bit special for a goalkeeper, I think, because uh, you're either playing or you're not playing. Uh, and when you're not playing, I think it's, especially for me, it's been really important to like try to keep strong mentally and uh, always train as if I'm going to play the next game. Because for me, it's you never know what's going to happen. It could be injuries, there can be changes. So for me, it's try to always train as you're going to play the next game. And then I think that's, for me, makes me makes me ready to play. So even if I go two, three, four months without playing, I always feel like I'm ready because I try to try to train good every day and uh, and just train as you play. Donc c'est particulier en tant que gardien parce que tu joues ou tu joues pas. Uh, pour moi, je m'entraîne comme si j'allais jouer. Uh, donc en termes de préparation, je, je serai prêt. Uh, même si je joue pas de 2, 3, 4 mois, ça change rien. On joue comme on, on s'entraîne. On parlait avec le coach d'une éventuelle préparation pour les séances de tir au but. Tu t'es préparé C'est un exercice dans lequel tu es à l'aise, toi So, speaking with the coach, um, they were speaking about the eventual possibility of preparing the, the training sessions with PKs. Um, how do you feel in terms of PKs Are you are you comfortable What's PKs Penalty kicks. Oh, penalty kicks. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, uh, for a goalkeeper, penalties is. Uh, I would say, at least for me, it's fun. Like it's, uh, it's almost like a win-win situation. Uh, there's less pressure for the goalkeepers, and you got a big chance of being the hero. But I also think we have to prepare a lot, both in training, but also, uh, also like tactically and analyze. And so I think we do all the preparation we can. And uh, if if the game goes to penalties, I'm, I'm sure everyone is ready, and including me. But uh, the goal is to make the game not go to penalties. Donc euh, oui, mais pour un gardien, c'est un peu moins de pression, peut-être que pour un joueur, parce que en tant que gardien, on a cette possibilité aussi de devenir euh, l'héros du, du jour. Euh, on prépare en tout cas l'éventualité, les, les, mais le but étant de ne pas arriver jusqu'au penalty. Bonjour Chotel, qu'est-ce que tu connais de cette équipe d'Annecy que vous allez jouer dans, dans deux jours So she's asking, what do you know about this uh, ANSI team that we're going to play in two days? 
not very much. I've uh, only like heard a few things. I saw the cup game against uh, Marseille, and uh, that's pretty much it. But for me, I'm just going to treat it like a, like a normal normal game. It's like a, I know it's a good team. All the teams has gone to the semi final in the cup. is is obviously a very good team. So it's not going to be an easy game. It's a it's a tough game that we're all we're all ready for. J'ai vu le match, euh, pas grand chose honnêtement, mais j'ai vu le match contre Marseille en coupe. Euh, mais en tout cas, pour moi, ça ne change pas que l'adversaire, je, je, je mets le même, euh, la même préparation. On sait par contre que ça va être un, un match difficile, mais en tout cas, on est prêts euh, tous ensemble. Bonjour Chetel. Bonjour. Euh, pour toi, quelle sera la clé euh, pour gagner cette rencontre à Annecy Donc pour toi, quelle sera la clé pour gagner contre Annecy I think the key is just to play play our game. Uh, we know that when we play our football, uh, we have some good players. We we're a good team together, uh, and like you've seen earlier in the season, we can we can beat the good teams. We can play good against the top top teams. So if we just keep keep our good level, focus on our playing style, I think uh, we can make it very difficult for them. Donc, uh, um pour nous, il faut vraiment qu'on joue notre jeu, notre football, et, et parce qu'on est bon ensemble collectivement. Donc vraiment, c'est un focus sur, sur nous pour pouvoir ensuite euh, performer, avoir un résultat. Sur les tirs au but, c'est un exercice euh, que vous n'avez pas encore, euh, par lequel vous n'êtes pas encore passé dans la Coupe de France, contrairement à Annecy. Est-ce que ça vous donne un avantage en tant que gardien pour pouvoir notamment observer euh, les, les tireurs so, Uh, Toulouse never had to, to do a PK penalty kick session this, uh, this uh, season in the cup, um, whereas ANSI actually had to. As a goalie, does it give you an advantage um, because you can study the PKs of, of ANSI? Yeah, I think uh, it's, it's easier to analyze. Uh, but then again, I think penalty kicks is you can do all the preparation and everything, but it's also a lot about the feeling. Uh, and it's, I think, penalty kicks from game to games is, is all different. So maybe a small advantage, but I think uh, every penalty kick is, is different from each other. So it's, it's got to be difficult regardless. Oui et non. Pour analyser, c'est bien, mais pour les penalties, c'est c'est très individuel et on peut on, on a beau faire toute la préparation uh, possible, mais c'est sur, sur le moment, c'est c'est une histoire de feeling. Je sais que dans cet exercice, il y a des gardiens plutôt spécialistes, d'autres beaucoup moins. Est-ce que vous, dans votre carrière, vous avez eu de la réussite et vous jugez que vous êtes performant dans l'exercice So, some goalkeepers are, can say that they're good or, or bad at PKs. Is it something that you are good at throughout your career and, and, and in the past, do you think you, you're confident to say that you're, you're good at PKs Uh, I would say yes. Um, the, I've not been in very many penalty shootouts, but the few I've been in uh, with the national team when I was younger was was pretty good. Uh, it's a long time since then, but I'm going into the penalty kicks. I'm confident I'm, I'll be able to help the team uh, in a good way, obviously. Oui, c'est vrai que je n'ai pas trop à faire à à à ça, mais. Dans le passé, oui, ça s'était très bien passé, même avec l'équipe nationale en jeune. Euh, certes, ça fait longtemps, mais en tout cas, je serai paix en cas de, de, de tir au but. Le fait que Philippe Montagnier soit un ancien gardien, il y a une relation particulière entre vous dans, dans la préparation des, des matchs Le fait que le coach est un old goalie, um, does it help you in terms of preparing the, the game Yeah, I'm sure me and the coach will have a, have a conversation before the game. Um, I think it's easier for him to talk to someone like me as a previous goalkeeper. He knows the feeling, he knows uh, the mentality of it and how you go into a penalty shooter as a goalkeeper. So uh, I think it will be some good advice I can get from the coach there. Donc oui, uh, sûrement que le coach me parlera um, avant le, le match ou avant la séance des pénalties s'il y a. Mais euh, son expérience, en tout cas, va m'aider et, et je, je tâcherai de prendre ses précieux conseils.